good. It's very warm. It is. How does it feel to be in New York City? Good, yeah, I love New York. What drew you to this project? Hmm? What drew you to this project? And Bart, I mean, and, and the story. I mean, I watched The Imposter about 10, 10 times and I missed it. So I had this list, you know, of directors I wanted to work with. And Bart was on that list. So, I mean, the script came in and I said, oh, there's Bart Langton's name. So I tried my best to get it. And there was a lot of people up for it, but I fought for it. Just re-angling yeah, yeah. yeah. And then one in the back. Okay, yeah. Good. And a little back. Thank you. How does it feel to journey with this film from Sundance to now? Great. You know, it's a, I'm, I'm curious to see what the public now think of because uh, Sundance is a different audience and, and so West is different to that. And, so, yeah. Now, how did you prepare for this film? Um, like every other role, you know, I, I look at the script and I have my diary, I have a, 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 a diary that I do all my character stuff, questions, and I just throw it all away on the road, so. Thank you so much, thank you. I'm so excited, I love this movie so much, and I can't wait for people to see it and see what they think. What initially drew you to this project? Uh, well, number one, the script. Uh, it was unlike anything I'd ever read before. Uh, it, was, it was very uh, unique and unconventional with like the, the interviews with the real guys were in the script as well. And uh, you know, our characters were going through the whole story. And then what was keeping it grounded when you thought that you know, it was like unbelievable what these kids were going through, the real guys would be chiming in uh, and, and reminding you that this is a true story. So I was in love with it from the start. Now the film has incredible reviews. What's been the journey? Like from Sundance to now here today, it's been it's been surreal. It's been overwhelming with positivity. I mean, it's really really cool to see that people are, this movie is resonating with people. And people are loving it as much as we do. So it's just everything you hope for. We're coming out with an independent film. Like this, so it's very exciting. What was it like working with Oh, with the director Bart Layton. Uh, well, he's a documentary filmmaker. That's uh, that, that's what he's been doing for the past few years, but uh, for a while. But um, it was amazing. It was, it was it was really incredible. And I wasn't nervous at all because you could tell from his work and from the way he works with people that he's used to finding the truth within interviews and within conversations with people. You kind of just felt like you were in good hands, and that you, it didn't matter how big you were, how you know how, how subtle you were. He didn't have to you know tread the water going from one to ten. He just he just wanted you to feel honest. All the way. So it was, a, it, was a, it was a great, uh, great Travis learning experience. Right. I loved every moment. Yes. Yeah. Well, we all met each other uh, at uh, Sundance when, uh, when we premiered the movie. So that's when I first met my guy. But they're they're a great group of guys. It's, right after Sundance, it was really fulfilling knowing that this, this movie resonated with them, it resonated with their family. I met my guys uh, with their old mother yeah. and sister after, and they told me how much this movie was as well. So, uh, so yeah, it was a wonderful experience. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's a weird thing to, yeah, I mean, I don't feel like we did anything except the worst thing in our lives. Bart did an amazing job with the movie. Did you No, no, I had, I had no idea. I mean, it started out as just a, Bart was mostly documentary, and we kind of thought it was going to be a small time independent film, and so. But I think there's something about the story that people are connecting to, and it's gotten a lot of talk. It's, it's really taken a lot of. Um, it's it's pretty surreal. It's you know after doing as much prison time as we did, and you know the, the process of working with Bart took a number of years, and so to, to be here now, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. No, you saved my home away from home, so I'm excited. It's cool. It's Monty Metro. What drew you to this project? Money. I'm just kidding. I don't know. It's a good script. Bart's a wicked director. Uh, I saw The Imposter. My agents pushed it on me. It was just everything. Um, now, the real life character that we here tonight, did you get a chance to meet them on the movie? Uh, before Sundance, I met them all. Hung out today, we're hanging out with them. They're good guys. They're good people. How did you prepare for this role? A lot of reading, I don't know. <laughs> just, I don't know, we just got ready, we did it. Did you think the film would be this big? Yeah, I thought it would be big. I didn't know, 
you never really know what it's going to turn into, but I did think we had something. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's incredible. It's incredible. I can't wait for everybody to see this film. It's incredibly done. All the actors are brilliant, and it's, it's amazing. How does it feel to have a film based on your life? It's, it's really surreal in our situation. You know, a film based on not so positive circumstances, but the way that they, they actually humanized us throughout the film, it's, it's really incredible. Did you take the yeah, yeah. So we were actually involved in the filming process for almost almost eight years, and we really got to know Bart Layton, the filmmaker, and he really kept us very, very close involved throughout the whole process. And the, the end result, I think, shows that. Do you think um, the actor that plays you did a great job? He actually did an incredible job. Um, he really captures some really pivotal moments in my life. You know, things that I think as people will see that really shifted the course of my life. And he, he captures it great. Thank you. Uh, a little overwhelmed. The reaction's pretty wild. Yeah, it's good. Did you ever No. No, no, that was all uh, Bart Lady's doing. They're you know, really taking a story and uh, uh, trying to do something new to it. Um, but no, you know, for a million years, would you would imagine that uh, kind of got lucky to have a director grab a hold of something like this. Yes. What did you do? Did you do a good job? Yeah, they did an amazing job. Yeah, great job. Nice job. Yeah. Do you have a favorite moment? Oh, favorite moment. There's just so many of them. No, I don't. I don't. Um, a couple, a couple times with Spencer and Eric, and you know, interacting with the real guys. But uh, there's a moment messing with Evan at one point that. I'll always remember it. Well, we only did Sundays, um, but it sounded like it did well at South by Southwest, and uh, and yes, it's great to kind of start it here, win it here, whatever it is. What has it been? Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah. I know, right? I know. Who would have thought it? I mean. I don't know. You know, you really hope that that is going to be how it pans out, but you just never know. So I guess that was the intention. So it's nice that that bit of it has come to fruition. Now you're the writer-director. That's right, yeah. Why did you want to tell a story? A um, couple of reasons, really. One, I think it's kind of an amazing story. True stories as uh, extraordinary as this don't come along too often, but also... I think it's really a timely story. I think it's more timely now than when it actually, when the crime happened. I think part of the reason for that is because it's a story of a slightly lost group of young men who are searching for an identity and they're searching kind of, they're looking in all the wrong places for meaning and this so-called special, remarkable life that they're promised. And, you know, the truth is, as we get into adulthood, most of us realise, well, probably we're not going to be special or remarkable. We're just going to be average. And something about the culture that we inhabit now makes that not OK. You know what I mean? I think there's this increasing pressure to leave a mark on the world. And there's a slight sense that it doesn't really matter whether you're leaving your mark on the world because for something good or for something bad, as long as you're doing something. And I think that's part of what's motivating this. <laughs> um, the cast was the process with the cast was just really it was just find the very best actors and don't stop until we find them and that was the whole that was the whole process really and um, you know I was lucky uh, Evan auditioned and as soon as I saw his audition I was like we're done call off the search and then Barry who uh, is Irish and I didn't know how his American accent was and I'd never really seen him but I saw his audition and I just couldn't stop watching. I mean, you just cannot stop watching him. And um, 
So once you brought those two together, then it was like, as you would recruit the rest of a heist, you know, you, you go and find the next guy. And then, you know, Blake, I knew I'd seen, I'd seen his work and I knew that he was a great actor. I just didn't know how many layers. And, uh, and then I think what you see in the movie is that he is not only a, a beautiful looking guy, he is a really serious actor as well. Thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty incredible. Did you expect this to go into an amazing movie and get such great No, I didn't at all. I mean, I, look, I mean, Bart's a great director. It's a great cast. I love the script. Uh, the story's incredible. It's a true story. And uh, when I read it, you know, it was written that everything that is the documentary side of the film was written out in the script and I loved reading that because it gave it a real gravity and it made it that much more real uh, so it made the journey that much more intense which I really I really liked and, uh, and then I wanted to be a part of it and, and, and I was a little weary you know a lot of people said uh, you know when I explained to them that it was going to be the real guys in the film that it was going to be a little weird and why is it more like I tongue and you guys should be doing it it's going to be weird that you juxtaposition to the real guys and that so I was just like okay I don't know how it's going to work out, but, but Bart, I mean, I've seen it, and, and Bart really nailed it. I mean, it's, it's really incredible what he did, and the way he edited it, and, and he kind of knew what he was doing all along. So um, I'm excited for people to see it. Yeah. 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 They're awesome. I mean, they're they're uh, they're incredible guys. I mean, they're they're, they're normal guys. They just sort of had this harebrained idea and went with it and uh, didn't really think about the consequences. So uh, uh, it's sad, but but uh, yeah, they're fun guys. They're nice guys. Do you feel like they've made an impact on our lives at this point? Oh, I mean, this is so surreal for them. They are just having a good time in their lives. So uh, I don't know. I, I, I hope they uh, appreciate it. And, uh, appreciate it. That's the right word. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.